Hi. I do thank you for tuning back in to Poem Praise 2. And we're going to move right along with Shelton Jackson, Spike Lee. Now, he's a movie producer, excuse me, a movie director and producer uh, during the time period of 1957 and to the future. And this is the information I have on Mr. Lee. It goes as follows. I've been blessed with the opportunity to express the views of black people who otherwise don't have access to power and the media. Spike Lee. Shelton Jackson, Spike Lee, grew up in a show business family. His father, Bill Lee, was a jazz musician who would later compose the music for Lee's movies. Now born in Atlanta, Georgia, Lee grew up in Brooklyn, New York, where most of his films would be set. Now after graduating from Morehouse College, Lee entered New York University Institute of Film and Television. In 1982, he won the Student Academy Award for Joe's bed Barber Barbershop. We cut heads. bed referred to Bedford Studevant, a neighborhood in New York City. In 1986, Lee became known across the country for his hit movie, She's Gotta Have It. He spent $125,000 to make the film, which earned $8 million and won the Los Angeles Film Critics New Generation Award, as well as the Prix D. Junis at the Cannes Film Festival in France. Suddenly, all the big movie studios were interested in Spike Lee. His next movie was School Days, a movie about college students. Lee followed that with Do the Right Thing in 1989, which was nominated for an Oscar for Best Screenplay. Lee's movies often focus on historic events and people. Malcolm X, which was in 1992, honors the black power leader. Get on the Bus concerns the Million Man March that took place in Washington, D.C. in 1995 to promote unity among African-American men. Four Little Girls in 1997 tells the story of the four children who died in the 1963 bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama, where segregationists tried to stop the civil rights movement. Although Lee is the most successful African-American film director today, movies were not his first love. When he was growing up, Lee wanted to be a professional baseball player. In fact, he named his son Satchel for legendary baseball pitcher Satchel Paige. He is also a big New York Knicks fan and often goes to their games. In 1998, Lee directed a basketball movie called He Got Game. In addition to focusing on African American people and issues, Lee regularly employs 
African Americans when making his movies. Many black actors got their first starring roles in his movies. The African American community has long been concerned that white movie makers, no matter how well intentioned, could not actually depict the African American experience. They believe the movie industry would greatly benefit from the influence of African American writers, directors, producers, and others behind the scenes people. Because of Lee, people from all over the world have seen movies from an African American point of view. That does conclude the information I have on Mr. Shelton Jackson, Spike Lee. Now, our next extraordinary African American, certainly stay tuned to Poem Praise 2 here, is going to be Tiger Woods. Yes, a, a golfer. Uh, during the time period of 1975 to the current. And uh, stay tuned because I'll be having Mr. Woods real soon. All right? The information on Mr. Tiger Woods. All right, y'all. Later, y'all.